Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for, um, uh, this is for your November a bonus, and we're just gonna do a, gel, a general Celtic cross here. Uh, in your general energies, you have the King of Cups, I'll show you in a second, but uh, I kind of feel that you could be tapping into your emotions or digging deep on something. I really look at the King of Cups and just as kind of an energy of digging deep, basically. He is tapping into his like deep emotional desires or he's exploring his emotions. Um, and he's also kind of like sitting in choppy waters, but he doesn't really care uh, what is going on around him. So, uh, it, the, you know, the whole point is, is that he is perfectly fine in the choppy waters, right? So, you know, I kind of feel that there, uh, there's actually a whale. It looks, it, it looks like a fish, but it's supposed to be a whale right here. And it kind of represents, again, exploring your emotions. And that's really what I'm getting here is like, I feel it would be a good time for you to explore how you feel about things and to set yourself free. It's like, I feel that some, sometimes you are confusing yourself. You end with the Eight of Swords. It's like, but you have you go Ace of Cups, Eight of Swords. It's like, you actually know what your heart wants, but then you confuse yourself. But I feel like this is in any area of your life, love, business, money, spiritually, whatever. And I feel like that Eight of Swords is like saying, let's, let's kill this once and for all. Let's get rid of that, you know, um, kind of like you do know what you want, but you're second guessing yourself type of energy, right? And I kind of get that here uh, for you here, Aquarius. You have the Knight of Cups. Uh, Knight of Cups, of course, could be a knight in shining armor. Uh, so uh, if you want love, you know, there could be love coming in for you. You have fire and water so far, but you know, it could be any sign, of course. Uh, but this is your crossing energy. So the crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you in a, a Celtic cross. And you know, I feel for a lot of you, this is a very dreamy energy. So, you know, as always with you, Aquarius, I feel there is a, a very strong need to manifest some sort of dream on earth. He's normally looking to that cup, kind of dreaming of his future life, but he needs to plant seeds right here in front of that water. When he plants the seeds, they will grow, but he has to plant the seeds so that they can grow, right? Uh, next in the area of what's on your mind, uh, I don't know, nothing. <laughs> You have the two of swords and two of swords is like this or that thinking. And, you know, this or that thinking could be getting you in trouble right now. Not like literally, but uh, you could be thinking like things. If 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 something isn't one way, then it's another. <coughs> but th that's not true. You know, there are kind of like all sorts of ways that, you know, things can go and turn out in your life. She has this new island behind her and that's really where she needs to go. So two of swords, it doesn't really say like don't settle, but I kind of get that energy here where it's like you could be choosing between two things, but maybe the real choice is no choice. Maybe the real choice is to try something completely different right here. And sometimes I think we have to do that in life. We just have to, you know, try something completely different, whether that's love and business and money, spiritually, whatever. Uh, like I said, I, you know, I kind of feel you need to open up to new ways of doing things. Uh, this is also a card of initiation. And so, you know, uh, some, you know, you could read her as an, like an initiate. She is being initiated into something. It's almost like she's doing a ritual here. And so, um, I don't know. I feel like some of you, I don't think you're being initiated into anything, but I do feel that you, it's like you could be ascending or you could be um, having like, asc like ascension symptoms uh, at this time. You have the four of pentacles. Four of pentacles is a card of financial stability. I do feel you're trying to protect your financial stability. Those are literally the words that I'm getting. Uh, the problem is I feel like you're uh, kind of like choking off the flow and I feel you need to keep the flow going. So I always tell people, it's like, if you're like holding on to your money too tightly, then you're not you're not like getting that flow going. And I always tell people as well, you don't have to spend money to get the flow going. You can also just create something. Again, if you're creating something that, that creates flow, in your life, then it's gonna, it, you know, it could open up like your financial channels and things like that. So, you know, again, you could be, maybe you need to create a piece of art and share it with the world. Then you're creating abundance because other people can enjoy it. Maybe you are uh, creating a YouTube video about like something you went through. And even if only one person watches it, that's good enough because you're putting something out there that maybe someone needs so that you're getting the flow going. So I always tell people like, if you're having, if you're like struggling or if you're just getting by, or even if you have money, but you're kind of like holding, finding yourself holding on to it, it's like, what can you do to get that flow going? What can you do to, um, you know, kind of like open up a little bit? And again, you know, spending money is what it, like is a way to do it. Cause then you're saying to the universe, you know, I, I trust that I will be taken care of, right? Um, you know, of course I wouldn't go crazy, but again, like I said, you don't even have to spend money to open that flow up. You just have to open it up in some area of your life. The funny thing is, is that you have the magician literally pointing to the four of pentacles, right? The magician 
is coming up in the area of your past or like the energy that you're moving past. And, uh, you know, I haven't said, said this in a long time, but he has a snake eating its own tail here. This is the Ouroboros and it represents reinvention. And I kind of feel that here for you, Aquarius. I feel like you are going through, you know, a period of reinvention or you're going through a time where you're reinventing yourself or you're making changes or, you know, whatever the case may be. And so I would keep doing that, <coughs> whatever you're doing. And I would also say that I feel maybe you need to open up to, again, manifesting. Like I said, it's like, can you create something? Uh, you know, donating your time is a great way to do this. Um, you know, being there for someone. There's, there, you know, there's so many examples of what you can do to get the flow going. Even going for a walk. I'm, I am convinced that just moving forward <laughs> will, will get the energy moving forward. Again, I've never, at, you know, I, I always tell a story. I stuck for four years of my life. I've never been so stuck in my life and I was doing nothing at that time. I'm convinced. I, I, the first thing I started doing was going for walks every single day and I am convinced that is kind of like what unlocked the energy because you're like moving the energy forward. You're doing something to move forward forward. It doesn't matter what it is, right? So I kind of feel that energy here where it'd be very beneficial if you could just do something to move that energy forward. Uh, in the area of your near future, you have the Seven of Swords. You know, a lot of people read this as lying, cheating, stealing, but you know, again, to me, it's really a card of tactics. And I feel like you need to be tactical here uh, in this reading. You have the Eight of Swords as well. The Both cards kind of represent only seeing one way of doing things. He is tactical because he is stealing those swords from an army that's in the background of the card. And instead of going to war, he's stealing their swords. So, you know, it's kind of like a card of doing something in a way that, um, you know, that most people wouldn't do it <laughs> or, you know, doing something in a different way. And the Eight of Swords represents only seeing one way of doing things. So whatever you're trying to do in your life, um, you know, is there a better way? And I can't answer that question for you. Like, I don't, you're all doing something different anyway. Um, but I would say, you know, maybe you think that you need money to start a business or maybe you think you uh, need a car to go get a job. It's This kind of says, well, maybe not. <laughs> you know, maybe there's something better or maybe there's a different way you could do things. So just stay open to those ways of doing things. I also feel you need to have more fun in your life. You know, he has these polka dots all over his cloak and polka dots in the tarot uh, represent kind of needing to have more fun because uh, they can say that the person that you're reading for is taking things too seriously. And so I feel you need more like playfulness in your life. Uh, you have the King of Wands. This is coming up in the area of the next few months. Uh, I really like this. I feel like you're feeling very driven, motivated. Um, you know, this is the card of the visionary. I think that everyone should be trying to embrace some sort of visionary energy at this time. Uh, and visionary doesn't mean you have to be like some super nerd genius uh, looking into the future, coming up with like new inventions. But it does say, you know, can you add a twist to the things that you do during the day? and to kind of like try to improve your life, right? Um, are there things you can do to keep evolving, to keep growing? And that's what I'd be focused on here. But, you know, I feel pretty good about this. I do also feel that you have two cards of Aries here. So if you want to love, this could be an Aries coming in for you. Uh, the Emperor could represent, um, you know, an Aries, of course, but... You know, this is coming up in the area of your closest relationships. So, you know, if you're looking, for those of you looking for love, I mean, you have this, you have the Ace of Cups. There definitely could be a solid connection coming in for you. Uh, and it could be a fire sign for sure. Uh, you have water here as well, but I would say if it's a water sign, it's like one with a lot of fire in their chart. Or if it's a fire sign, it could be one with like some water in their chart. But for the most part, I am definitely feeling that fire energy. So, you know, I feel it could be a fire sign. Uh, I would also say that it's like probably an action taker uh, type energy. I, I, someone else also had the emperor in this position. I can't remember who it was, but I think it was one of the other air signs, but I can't remember. Um, <laughs> and anyway, the, the point is, is that in the air, when this shows up in the area of your closest relationships, which is all relationships in your life, it could say that if you, again, want to socialize this month, seven of swords, you need to have more fun, then you need to take action. So you might find that, you know, maybe people aren't reaching out to you or something like that. And I feel like this is saying, don't be afraid to ask your friends to hang out. Don't be afraid to like go have fun and, you know, do something fun with your life. You have the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is your emotions overflowing, a lot of happiness coming in for you. Definitely could be a love offer coming in for you this month. I'm not so sure you're going to take it this month. I don't know. Um, you know, again, we're going to clarify in a second and we will see. Uh, but again, you might be more focused on your emotions with that King of Cups, which is really what I was feeling at the beginning of the reading, that you're more focused on creating your own fulfillment. You're more focused on 
you know, creating your own happiness in life. And, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Ace of Cups is, again, the flow. Ace of Cups fulfills itself. It can reach down into that water and fill itself back up. So, you know, it's self uh, a self-filling cup. And again, sometimes I think we have to get to that place in life before we can do other things. We have to find something that brings us fulfillment. We have to find something that causes our energy to get better, right? And I kind of feel that's what you're seeking. Uh, you have the Eight of Swords here. Eight of Swords is self-imposed restriction. So again, I feel that it's quite simple. The Eight of Swords is just saying that you need to open up to other ways of doing things. The other thing is, is that she's standing in a very shallow pool of water. And so it kind of says that her emotions are shallow. It doesn't mean that you're shallow. It just means that you might be making like a bigger deal out of things than you need to. And you know, she it, she definitely is. She could easily take her blindfold off. She could easily walk away from those swords, but she's like not doing it. So I feel like some of you need to set yourself free here, clearly. Uh, with the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups, you have the Ten of Cups, Fortune After Difficulty. Uh, definitely could be love as well. So I feel like there could be a very solid love connection uh, coming in for you with the Ten of Cups. Um, you know, if you want love, this is happy home, happy family, like I said. Uh, I also feel that there just could be just happiness coming in for you after a period of, like after a blue period, right? Uh, with the Two of Swords, you have the Three of Pentacles. If you're stuck, maybe you need advice from someone here. You do have the Emperor and the Emperor you know, could be like a mentor, a guide, um, you know, someone that you trust in your life could be a parent as well. And so Three of Pentacles says teamwork makes a dream work. And Two of Swords, you know, she might be trying to do everything on her own. So I feel for a lot of you, this is saying it's time to, you know, open up to other people. It's time to open up to other opportunities or new ways of doing things. And, you know, that's what I would do here with this card. Uh, with the Four of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is a knight in shining armor. So, you know, again, there definitely could be, you have them twice here. Um, <coughs> definitely could be a knight in shining armor uh, coming in for you if you want love. Um, I also kind of feel this, like this to me looks like a little bit of holding on to the way things used to be. Um, you know, that type of energy with the Knight of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. And, you know, I kind of feel this is saying like we're in a different time now. And me, yeah, maybe it's sad sometimes to have to like let things go in life or for things to change or even to like get older and, you know, all that other stuff, right? Uh, but I feel it's kind of saying instead of worrying about all that, um, you know, there's so much good stuff available to you that that's what you should be focusing on, not like the old stuff, right? Uh, with the magician, you have the three of wands, uh, as always. I mean, everybody gets the three of wands nowadays. I do feel we're in a time where people are maybe a little bit more, um, you know, kind of waiting for the perfect moment to do something when there never will be a perfect moment to do something. So I, as I tell everyone, get started, right? <laughs> because, you know, three of wands is like waiting for the perfect moment and there never will be a perfect moment. So whatever you're expanding towards or working towards, I feel you need to work towards it. It's also a card of foresight as well. And, you know, again, I feel for a lot of you with the magician that you've been trying to reinvent yourself. Like, I feel like you've been trying, some of you, um, I don't care if you're 90 years old. I feel like maybe some of you over the past couple of years have really been trying to find out who you are, right? Or trying to, um, you know, step into an energy that causes the Ace of Cups. Like I said, that causes that flow um, in your life. And uh, I kind of feel like some of you are like discovering, you know, whatever that energy is, right? So uh, let's see here. And sorry, this deck is super slippery. So that's why it's like falling apart. Uh, with the Seven of Swords, you have two cards, King of Pentacles in the uh, Seven of Cups. <coughs> two, two sevens represents internal fears that don't exist. The King of Pentacles, of course, is a great card for stabilizing your finances. Uh, but he kind of, again, he's a card of convention. And so he represents the way things used to be. <laughs> and I kind of feel like that type of thinking could be holding you back. Uh, if you are attracting love, I love the King of Pentacles in love. Um, you, you almost have all four kings here. But the King of Pentacles, he represents uh, kind of like someone who really wants to create something stable or wants to create something secure. Uh, Seven of Cups, of course, is my card of manifesting something down on earth, which I really feel like you have to do with that Seven of Cups. I feel this whole entire reading is saying, and, and all your past readings as well, have really been saying there's something that you're dreaming of that you want. And instead of doubting yourself, right, go and get it and, you know, go and make it happen because you can't. That's why. Uh, with the uh, King of Wands, you have the Death card. Sorry, I thought I switched, but uh, the Death card is a transformation or something changing. We see a lot of change in this reading. I kind of feel it's your feelings that are changing about things in life, or you're finding this, 
you know, flow energy in your life. And I feel like that flow energy or being in the flow is going to be something that you should really, you know, build yourself a raft in and stay in the flow. You know, make sure that you're staying in that energy. Uh, the death card kind of, I kind of feel like saying things are changing for the better. Normally on the death card, there are two pillars from the moon on it and the sun is coming up between those two pillars. So it kind of says that you're maybe leaving behind a moon period or a period where um, you weren't sure like what was going to happen with your life or what direction you were going in. With the emperor, you have the four cups. Uh, I love this four cups because you can see that these three cups are pouring into one cup. So I feel like you really could be attracting a person where it's like you really pour into each other, um, you know, where there's like more than enough energy, which seems to be the focus of this reading, especially with that Ace of Cups. You know, I really feel it's saying that you're looking for situations that, again, where there is more than enough, not just enough, but, you know, more than enough. And, you know, I feel like you're matching the energy here as well. So it's not like, you know, it's not like you're looking for a person to only give to you. <laughs> you know, I feel like there is equal give and take here, which is exactly how it should be. Again, you can't expect that of a person either. But, you know, if you're both, if you're both giving more than enough, then that's perfectly acceptable. It's, you know, when there's an Im imbalance, that's where there's a problem. So I kind of feel that here. I also feel that you're maybe over the next few months that you're a little bit more less less dissatisfied with life are the words that I'm getting here. So I don't think things are like perfect, but you know, I kind of feel like you're finding more satisfaction or you're finding more things that lead to satisfaction, which again, over the, you know, in the area of your future feelings is where you have this Ace of Cups. And, you know, I kind of just get this feeling of satisfaction. Let's see, with the Ace of Cups, you have the Page of Cups. <laughs> you know, definitely could be a water sign or any sign really. Uh, that's coming in for you in love. Could be any sign. Um, you know, Page Cups is just a general admirer, but I feel this is a person who really gives. And again, the not, Page of Cups can also be a dream. So, you know, some of you could be working on your dream life. Uh, it seems to me like a lot of people are right now. Again, we have Neptune and Pisces and Saturn and Pisces, which is going, it, it makes everybody like have a very strong desire to focus on their dreams, plain and simple. Uh, the reason being is that, um, you know, Neptune and Pisces is like the big impossible dream. Take whatever you think you can manifest, like create in your life, whatever you think you're capable of and multiply it by like a million. That's Neptune and Pisces. Uh, we should be doing that, by the way. We should be dreaming big. And Saturn and Pisces is like, okay, like if you do the work, then yeah, sure, it can happen. <laughs> so again, uh, I encourage everyone to have some sort of crazy ass dream. It doesn't mean that you're gonna get the million times whatever you thought you would originally have. But again, if you get 100 or 10 times more than what you thought you were gonna get out of a situation, that's better than what you originally wanted. So, you know, I feel that everyone should dream big, even if you're not going to accomplish the full dream, right? I would try at the very least, because if you do that, again, then you're gonna get like 100 or 1,000 times what you thought you would originally get. So it's like worth putting in the effort. Uh, with the Ace of Swords, you have the Hierophant here. Yeah, you could be heading towards marriage, really. The other thing is, is that the Hierophant, though, he's the bridge between the heavens and the earth. <clears throat> so he communicates with both sides. And he's able to manifest a dream down on earth because he communicates with both sides. So I kind of feel that there could be blessings. You know, he's making a symbol with his hands that represents a blessing. And so I feel for some of you that... It's like you could be, there's a blessing or so there is some sort of blessing that you could manifest on earth. Um, but I really feel that part of this has to do with your beliefs or like believing that you can have these blessings or that you deserve blessings. And also with the magician, it's like, you know, I feel like you're realizing that to have something that you've been dreaming of, that you have to match the energy of whatever it is that you want, right? And, you know, it's like I always tell, like, I, you know, the best example I could give you is like everybody, um, you know, I used to get this question a lot. Like people would say to me, you know, should I write my book? I'm like, well, real writers write. So it doesn't matter if you should or you shouldn't. If you want to be a writer, then you should be writing. It doesn't matter if people are going to read it. It doesn't matter if it's going to be successful. And if you say, well, I don't want to do that, then you don't want to be a writer, right? And so I kind of feel, that's what I feel here. It's like, there's something you want to do. And it's like, whatever that is, it's like real, real, whatever, insert whatever you want in your life there. Do, you know, do this activity. I feel like if you start doing the activity, then you become the thing. And, you know, that's, I hope that makes sense. That's what I'm getting uh, as the outcome. It's like saying you need to match the energy of the thing that you want. Uh, we're pulling five main themes. This is the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. You have this patience card. <coughs> I feel like you've been patient. I feel like you've been uh, putting in the work and everything like that. So uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say there. <laughs> I feel like you've been patient. Uh, you have this criticism card. I feel like this is what you are fearing. Again, the biggest fear that Aquarius will have to face over the next 20 years is being criticized. I mean, Pluto and Aquarius, it's like the star card, right? It's like getting a lot of attention. And again, I've said it to other people. The biggest fear that we all will probably have is the fear of being criticized. 
the fear of being wrong, like, you know, putting out a YouTube video and, and someone calling you stupid or something like that. So, you know, again, uh, letting go of that fear is going to be the thing that makes you successful. And yes, people are going to criticize you, but so what? Uh, you have this inheritance card. I do feel like some of you could literally be getting an inheritance, but I also feel like you've kind of like, you have some skills. You know, the King of Pentacles, he normally has grapes on his cloak and you have them here in your very near future. And he, the grapes kind of represent a skill because grapes require very specific skills to be able to grow well. And so I feel for a lot of you that you have some skills that maybe you inherited or maybe you were like born with these skills. And I feel like you need to be using those skills so that you can be more successful. Uh, you have this revenge card. I would be careful of uh, revenge or trying to get revenge uh, at this time because it's just going to come back to bite you. Um, you know, we had um, uh, Mars and Gemini at the beginning of the year. You know, just something I would be careful of. I think the best thing to do is ignore it. Uh, you have this flattery card as well. See, on this card, uh, these two faces are facing away from each other. These two are facing uh, towards each other. So I kind of feel like you're um, <coughs> getting into situations where... Um, you know, where you're more in alignment with the situations. And, you know, this whole entire reading kind of has a lot to do with your vision and maybe in like confusion, right? With that two of swords. So I kind of feel you finally are no longer confused or you're much more clear about the direction that you're moving in in your life. Kind of interesting here, um, Aquarius. I'm gonna pull five more things. I'm too nosy. I want more details on kind of like where this is going. I'm using the uh, tea leaf oracle, by the way, to pull these. Uh, you have this nest card. It says an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. We talked about emotions here. So again, you could be creating this or finding a person you could have that with. You have this ram. It says a stubborn, aggressive person. You have this card that says discord among family or friends. I feel like some of you could be dealing with a person who is stubborn, aggressive and causing problems. And so maybe that's a person you need to let go of here. You have this marriage card. Definitely could be marriage in the future coming in for you. And you have this eye card that says psychic ability, trust your intuition. I feel like this is what has gotten you in trouble is not trusting your intuition. In those moments where you know you shouldn't do something or you know you should do something so you don't miss out. You know, I would pay attention to that with this card. But uh, pretty interesting. Uh, thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.